another time. Okay, we're gonna start in butterfly today. So you can just lay down on your back, bring your soles together, the knees to the outside. And if you want to, you can prep your knees. So if you feel like it's a little bit much for your joints, you can put like a blanket underneath or a pillow. You might have something close by on both sides. You don't have to, but it's always more comfortable and nicer to have something here. I'm gonna sit so I can speak better to you. But we start with a very nice calm asana for the beginning. And if you want to close your eyes, just find the position you feel the most comfortable in and allow your knees, your joints, your hips to relax. And then just take a few breaths deeply through your nose in. Maybe at the beginning to the, through the open mouth. Exhale. If you want to release something, if you feel like there's a lot of, you, you're very tense or there's things you want to let go, then you can exhale it through the open mouth. And then you can just find a very nice calm breath. And if you want to, then bring your palms together and rub your palms together so you find a lot of heat and energy in your hands. And when they're very hot, <laughs> you bring your palms on your heart. And you can leave your hands on your heart. Feel the energy between your hands and your heart. Maybe you can feel the heartbeat this morning. And with every breath, you can relax into your heart, into the rhythm of your heart, into your breath flowing through your heart, through your body. And then you can let go of everything what's bothering you, what might still be in your mind, your thoughts, if there's something from the last days, from this morning already, or from the last night, what bothers you, you want to let go of, you can bring it to the clouds in the sky and let it pass with the clouds in the sky so you can really arrive on your yoga mat today, in your body, in your heart. And today, we're going to have a very beautiful topic. It's all about the heart today. And in yoga, we work with prana, prana's life energy. It's always flowing through us. And in yoga, we work on increasing prana, the life energy. We want to invite it into our body, into our mind. And while doing that, we work on softening our heart to allow ourselves to feel our emotions, to open ourselves up for everything around, for ourselves, for people around us, for our life. So we can feel everything. We're not closed up anymore. We open ourselves with a very gentle, soft heart. But sometimes we, we are overwhelmed by emotions. We all know that. And sometimes there are situations we need to be strong, we want to hold ourselves. And that's the second part. We want to strengthen our heart to have a very strong heart. While it is wide open, while we can feel everything, we have a strong heart and we can hold ourselves. And these are the two poles, the dualities we want to work on today to soften our heart, to feel and to strengthen our heart, to be able to hold ourselves in every situation. And maybe you can realize that it doesn't matter what happens in our life, how, how troubling it sometimes may be. You can hold yourself in every situation. 
And maybe you can imagine something or you can bring something into the class, what is weightening your heart down for the moment, what is giving you a hard time. So we can work with that to strengthen the heart, to hold this. So maybe there's something in your life you want to be able to hold. You can bring it into the class today. And you can bring something into the class today what is softening your heart, what is make you happy, what is a very nice, beautiful thing in your life for the moment, what is touching your heart with emotions. So this can help softening our heart today. And then take a few more breaths into your heart. Ask your heart this morning, how do you feel? Maybe there's just in, intuitively an answer coming. Maybe you get the answer a little bit later. That's not a problem at all. And ask your heart what it needs today. Maybe it needs some attention. Maybe it needs just to be taken care of very gently. Maybe it's need, it needs that you listen to it or that you do your yoga practice today. Listen to your heart. What do you need today? Take a few more breaths into your heart. Maybe you can feel all the sides around the left side of your heart. You can feel into the right side. You can feel into the front of your heart. The opening. Your heart is shining into your body, into the outside of your body. And maybe you can feel the back side of your heart. And I love to imagine that. It is like open arms, like growing out of the backside of your heart and they can hold, they can hug your heart from the back and hold your heart here. So the backside of your heart is the strong part, what can hold you. And the front side of your heart is open, can feel emotions, can soften. There's another nice picture before we're going to start our moving practice. I want to invite you to imagine that with every breath you breathe prana, life energy, in. And we yogis say that prana, this life energy, is light. So everything what exists, every particle, every atom is light, is starlight, sunlight. And it's a beautiful picture to invite this light into your heart, into your whole body with every breath you take. And then slowly in your own rhythm. Today it's all about your own rhythm in every yoga class, but especially today. Be very gentle and kind with yourself. Every movement we're doing today, you can see how fast you want to do it. If you need a break, take a break at every point. That's not a problem. And if you just watch me for five minutes and you join the rhythm afterwards or the flow afterwards again, just do whatever feels good for you. And then help your knees with your hands to come together. Maybe you can bring your hands above your head like you wake yourself up from a long deep sleep. And then you roll on your right, on your left side, whatever feels the best for you and you come to a sitting position. And then we come into a half butterfly. So you can bring one leg, the foot on your thigh. Maybe we start with the left leg. So we all together on the same side. That's always easier to guide. And the other, the right leg is straight. The toes tuck towards your body. So you help your joints to relax here. With your inhale, bring your hands up 
straighten your spine and with your exhale, soften over your right leg. With your inhale, bring more length in your spine, just a little bit. Maybe you just lean a little bit forwards. Most important is that your spine is straight. And with your exhale, your upper body is going to be a little bit more soft here. With your next inhale, you bring your left hand behind your body. And with your exhale, you come up on your left knee, raise your chest, raise your hip here, open your heart towards the ceiling. Exhale, sit down again. Inhale, lengthen your arms. And exhale, melt over your right leg. And we do that in your own rhythm. Inhale, come to a sitting position. Place your left hand behind your body. Exhale, open your heart, open your whole body towards the ceiling. Exhale, sit down. Inhale, left, lift your arms and exhale. Bend forward over your right leg just a little bit and stay here in your own rhythm with your own breath. And if your breath is just automatically coming in and out, that's wonderful. You don't have to try to guide your breath in a certain way. It's just nice if you can tune in how your breath is naturally coming in and out and you try to flow, to move in balance with your breath. And maybe for the beginning it's a little bit um, yeah, uneasy or you might not used to that to move connected to your breath. But after a few yoga classes, after a while it's coming naturally. And it's beautiful because your breath is guiding you, it's guiding the speed you're moving through your life. And it's helping you to soften into your body. And do this once more. Open your heart, open your body towards the sky. Let your heart shine here already. And with your exhale, melt over your leg. And you can stay here for two breaths. And you can have a little moving here, so it's not going to be too static. And if it's just a little bit, with your inhale, straighten your spine. And with your exhale, release a little bit more so your upper body can be very soft and wide open this morning. And with your next inhale, you come up on your left knee and the, the right leg is straight, like in line with your left knee. Your left hand is coming to the ground and your right hand is pulling over your head. So you straighten your whole right side. And we want to flow through a little dancer here. With your inhale, you straighten your whole right side. And with your exhale, you bring the right hand to your right thigh or your right leg and bring your left hand over your head to the right side. And flow here when you, with your exhale into the stretch. Inhale, come up and exhale to the other side. You can make circles in your arms. Just see how you want to flow through these asanas. Maybe with very little gentle slowly movements. Maybe you want to make big circles. Maybe you want to make a circle in your upper body. Just tune in how it feels good to you this morning. And today we guide it from our heart. So every movement we're doing is guided from our heart. Once more here. And then we stay here on the left hand, on the left side. You feel the outside of your right foot and your right fingertips, the length in your whole body. And if you want to, you can stay here or you lift your right leg. Nice 
strengthen for your thighs here, for your hip. And if you want to, you can bring the right hand to your right foot. So it's a binded position. And you can come into a little bow here. You open your heart, your shoulder blades wants to come together in the backside of your back, of your chest. And then really slowly with your exhale, you come back to a sit seating position. And we change the sides because in yoga we always want to balance our sides. Your, you straighten your left leg, tuck your toes in, and the right leg is in half butterfly. Bring your arms up, straight spine, and with your exhale, you can fold forward over your left leg. Your toes are tucked, so we protect our joints and our knee and our hip. The shoulders are far away from your ears. Smile here into yourself, into your heart. And especially when we do like these soft flowing asanas, postures, we want to soften our heart, feel into yourself. What does your heart need? What do you feel? Allow yourself to feel. And then we flowing through this um, asanas, through this dancing position. With your inhale, straighten your arms and exhale. Bring your hands behind your right hand, behind your, behind your back. And with your inhale, lift towards the ceiling. Exhale, sit down. Inhale, raise your arms. And exhale, bend over your leg, your left leg. Inhale, come up again. Place your right hand behind your body. And with your next inhale, raise your hip, raise your chest. Exhale, sit down and just follow these dynamic positions in your own rhythm. And this is a nice balance between opening, open our heart, let it shine. And when we bend down towards our leg, we have the possibility to tune into ourselves again. And there's two dualities we want to strengthen today. It's like the darkness and the light. It's like yin and yang. You probably know this yin and yang sign. And these two energies, feminine and masculine, they need each other to coexist. And this is the same with our soft heart and with our strong heart. Once more here. And then prepare yourself, straighten your arms and with your exhale, bend forward over your left leg. Maybe very gentle, just a little bit this morning. Feel your back, what do you need today? You can have like micro movements here with your inhale, lengthen your spine a little bit. You can imagine that like an invisible string is pulling your crown. So you lengthen your spine and with your exhale, you become very soft and relaxed. With your next inhale, you come up on your right leg. Your left leg is in one line with your right knee and your right hand is placing on the ground and then the left hand is pulling over your head and you lengthen your whole left side. And breathe into your left ribs, into your left chest. Feel the left side of your heart expanding here. And then we dancing through this position. With your exhale, you bring your left hand towards your left leg and the right hand over your head and exhale circle to the other side inhale here exhale circle to the left 
inhale here and do that in your own rhythm find your own speed here find your own rhythm and in these easy soft movements you can feel into your body guided from your heart and with every breath you take this golden light prana is shining brighter in your heart and with every heartbeat your heart is sending prana this light this golden energy into your body into every cell of your body this beautiful healing heart energy once more in every side and when you back on your right side you straighten your whole left side and if you want to you can lift your left leg the chest is open towards the ceiling and then you can bring your left hand to your left foot and come into a bow here and little back bend you can lean yourself into the back side of your heart the strong side what is holding you here very safe in your life in this position and then you release with your exhale you come into a tabletop position your knees are hip distance apart your fingers are spread and underneath your shoulders you tuck your belly button in towards the spine so we have an active center here and we flow through cat cow with your inhale lift your chest lift your heart and exhale you round your spine and flow through these positions a few times as well here this beautiful duality between letting your heart shine to the outside and tuning into yourself again if you want to you can make circles from the left to the right in your neck in your shoulders in your hip you can feel every single vertebrae moving here the space in your spine and your heart is guiding this movement so you change the direction the strong back side of your heart is holding you and the soft open side of your heart is guiding you through your life from here you come to the neutral position and you open your legs a little bit more maybe as wide as your mat and then you come down to a child's pose so we have a lot of space for our belly for our chest for an open heart and your hands your fingers pull towards the beginning of your mat so we stretch our shoulders here our heart can yeah melt towards the mat you don't have to touch the mat with your chest just a little opening here and then you can bring your fingertips like a tippy on your left side and then you pull your right arm underneath your left arm so you come on your right shoulder on the right side of your head and if you want to you can raise the left arm and bring it behind your back so you're in a nice sweet twist here and your chest wants to open here your shoulder blades pulling towards the back of your heart very soft and easy here with your next inhale bring your left arm up again place your left arm on the mat bring your right arm to the front as well neutral position here in child and then bring your left arm underneath your right one place your hand on the ground your left hand and if you want to lift your right arm and bring it behind your back so you open your right shoulder we change our perspectives here into every part of our heart into every part of our life 
feel into the right side of your heart, expanding the space in your chest, in your body. And then bring your right arm back towards the sky and then to the mat. Your left arm to the front again. A very long spine and then your fingers walk towards the beginning of your mat so you come up to the tabletop position. Then you tuck your toes under and very slowly lift your knees so you come into a downward facing dog. The first one this morning. Walk the dog here. Bend your right leg, bend your left leg. Bring a little movement into your body so we can be soft. When we're flowing, when we move, when we be dynamic in yoga, it's sometimes easier for us to soften, to relax, to be soft and gentle with ourselves. And in this position, our heart is above our head. So maybe we can give our heart today the guide. Our heart is our guide today. We can listen to it and we can ask what it needs. And then bend your legs, look towards the front of your mat and with a lot of tiny steps, you walk towards your hands to the front. Inhale, half forward with a very straightened spine and exhale, forward fold. Inhale, half forward and exhale, forward fold. Let your knees bend a little bit and with your inhale, bring your arms up, roll to a standing position, bring your hands towards the ceiling and then we rub the hands together. So we increase energy and warmth and then we place our hands on our heart again. Feel the energy here, feel our pulse, maybe our pulse is a little bit stronger than at the beginning of our class. Imagine how this golden light is flowing from your heart into your body, into all directions. And we continue with a very nice sun salutations. Let yourself guide from your heart, from the soft side of your heart, open to yourself, to your life, to every, everyone around you. And the strong back side is hugging your heart from the back, is holding you. So you realize that you hold in every situation, that everything is gonna be okay. Your inhale, lift your arms, exhale, come into a chair position, Utkatasana, bend your legs. And if you look down, you still see your toes. So you tuck your tailbone in and bring your weight a little bit back towards your heels. If you have a little bit pain in your knees, bring your foot together. So your knees, your foot, your legs are hold here. Inhale, lift your chest and exhale, sit a little bit lower. Inhale here and exhale, Uttanasana, forward fold. You can open your legs again. We want to have a lot of space for our belly, for our chest. Inhale, half forward fold and exhale, bring your right leg back. Come into a low warrior, low lunge. And you can place a blanket underneath your right knee. So you protect your knee here. Maybe not too high, so we're still stable. And with your inhale, you come up. So your left leg is in the front. It's more or less in a 90 degrees ankle. And your left hip pulls toward the back. You find a very stable position here and then you sit a little bit lower into your low lunge and you can place your hands on your thigh and pull a little bit back so your lower back 
is released here. We don't want to collapse into our lower back. Then we bring our left hand to our hip, straighten your right arm and then lean to the left side for a nice side stretch. So you can feel the stretch in the right side of your hip and the front side of your right thigh. We are focused and strong here and at the same time we're relaxed and easy with ourselves. Inhale, lift your arms again and exhale, twist to the left. So you open your arms, the, you look to your left side, to the back side of your left hand and inhale to the front again, lift your arms. With your next exhale, open again to the twist on the left side. Inhale, straighten. And exhale, you look towards your left thigh. So open your hands and you look towards your left thigh. To the back if that's okay for your spine. Once more, inhale here, exhale. And you can feel how your heart is expanding in all sides here. We want to open all directions in our body. Then bring your hands together behind your back. With your inhale, roll your shoulders back and lean into the back side of your heart. Lean back a little bit here, only from your chest, from your upper back. And you can open here for new possibilities, for your emotions, for yourself for your soft and your strong heart. And with your next exhale, you can walk your left leg a little bit towards the outside of your mat, so you have a lot of space here. And then you can lean forward into a humble warrior. Your hands pull towards your head. We stretch our shoulders. And then release here. Bring your hands up again with your inhale. With your next exhale, straighten your front leg for half split and bring your hands to the ground and like in a half forward fold, melt over your left leg. Maybe just a little bit. It's important that your spine is straight, that your heart is still open here and your shoulder blades wants to pull towards the back back side of your chest. So you open your chest here. And we, we're going to be dynamic. With your inhale, raise your arms, low lunge, bend your knee and exhale, straighten your knee, straighten your leg, bend forward. Inhale. And in your same, in your own rhythm here, you can bring your hands you can lift them or you can bring them to the ground, whatever feels good to you today, this morning. And also here, the nice duality between opening, open your chest, open your heart. And with the exhale, leaning forward, tuning into yourself, into your very soft heart. And once more here, stay. In this half split for two breaths, your toes tuck towards your body so you protect your knee, your joint, your knee is slightly bent. And imagine that your heart is shining wide open even in this forward fold. Deep exhale. And with your next inhale, come back to the low lunge. Tuck your right toes under lift your leg and then you step into downward facing dog. You can bring the, your blanket or your pillow to the side and if you want to, you can take a break in child's pose on, or on another position or you stay in downward facing dog. Whatever feels good for you now or you flow through a vinyasa with me. With your inhale, you, you roll like a wave to plank position. Exhale, knee, chest, chin to the ground. Inhale, roll your shoulders back, open your heart. And exhale, come back to downward facing dog. We lift our right, back, 
right leg a little bit. We meet all in downward facing duck now. And bring the right foot in between our hands so we can lay down our left leg. We can come to low lunge on the other side. Bring your blanket or something underneath your left knee. We want to protect our knees here very carefully. And we bring your hands up. Make yourself comfortable in this position. And then you can bring, pull a little bit back with your hands on your thigh. So your lower back is gonna be straight and released. And from here you can sit if you want to a little bit deeper into this low lunge, whatever feels good for you. And then bring your hands up, let your heart shine. And then bring your right hand to your hip left hand is straight and with your exhale you lean towards the right side it's a nice exercise for our balance here and also here we want to open all every side of our heart every single ankle so feel the left side of your heart expanding with every heartbeat it takes this golden light, this healing energy from your heart is flowing into your body. Inhale, bring your hands up. Stable position here. And exhale, open your arms. So we open towards your right thigh here. Look back to your right hand if, that, if that's comfortable. Inhale to the front again, lift your arms. With your next exhale, open your arms. Do this movement a few times here in your own speed. See what your body needs. How fast, how slow, how wide should this movement be today, this morning? Let yourself guide from your heart because your heart is never lying to you. If we truly listen to our hearts, we always gonna find the truth. And then we meet here, lift your arms, bring your hands together behind your back. With your next exhale, roll your shoulders back, the hands pulling back, lean into the back side of your heart. A little bit back here, just as much as you need for your stability. And with your next exhale, you find space on your, with your right leg. So you can lean forward into a humble warrior. It's a very deep stretch for our hips. <laughs> so be gentle with yourself if you, if you want, don't want to go too deep into this position. Then you release your hands. Inhale, come back, low lunge. And exhale, straighten your front leg and come down into a half forward fold. Your spine is long here. Inhale, low lunge. And exhale, straighten your leg and melt down into your heart. And a few times like this in your own speed, maybe you bring your hands to the ground or you can pull them towards the back for a little bit more stability here. Also here the duality between the soft heart and the strong heart, what can hold you. And then we meet in low lunge, tuck your toes under on your left side, lift your leg and you step back into downward facing dog. You can bring your blanket, your pillow to the side of your mat. Walk the dog here. If you want to, you can at every point in the class come to child's pose. You can come to sitting position, whatever you need. I'm just giving you the uh, red lines through the class <laughs> as the instructor, but you're the expert of your own body. And then bind your legs, look to the front and with a few steps or two big steps, you come to the beginning of your mat, 
inhale strength straighten your spine half forward fold and exhale bring your feet wider than hip distance apart and melt down into forward fold inhale half forward fold and exhale forward fold with a long spine your heart is soft now and can let go of everything that it doesn't need anymore your heart can let everything go into the earth and your heart is now above your head again is the guide in your life again then bend your knees bring your hands to your hips and with your next inhale roll up into standing position lift your arms bring your palms together and rub them so you can find heat and energy and place them on your heart again if you want to close your eyes feel into your heart trust yourself and trust your heart feel the heartbeat and imagine that with every single heartbeat this golden healing light from your heart prana life energy is flowing into your body and is lightening and healing every cell of your body and with your next inhale lift your arms exhale come into the chair pose utkatasana inhale here open your open your chest tuck your tailbone in and exhale forward fold inhale half forward fold and exhale step back with your right foot inhale come up we stay in high lunge here and you can bring your feet like on trailways so have enough space so they're kind of parallel to each other and you have stability here that's the most important and then you can pull the right the left hip a little bit back so your hips are straight bring your hands up and then bring your left hand to your left hip and lean towards the left side maybe just a little bit this morning so you still have stability and keep your focus here inhale come back exhale open your hands like in low lunge earlier you move towards the left your left leg open your arms inhale come to the front straighten your arms exhale twist look to the back of your hand if you feel comfortable with that inhale look to the front and that in your own speed you can at every point you can straighten your front leg if you need to release it a little bit and find all directions your heart is guiding you in once more into the twist strong legs and your feet wants to pull together it's like a magnet they pull together so you find strong legs here inhale come back and exhale straight straighten your leg and lean forward like in a half forward fold for the pyramid here you can bring the the right foot flatten on the ground on the mat so you have a lot of stability inhale come into warrior one and exhale lean forward once more here inhale and exhale lean forward and stay here maybe just like half forward fold so your spine is still straight and your left knee slightly bend tune into yourself here give yourself the possibility to calm down to heal to release you can bring your hands to the ground if you need you can always have like books or something or even a big blanket or or pillows you can 
place next to your foot so you're a little bit higher, you're a little bit lifted, and that's easier for stability. Or you place your fingertips, you can always bring your fingertips to your leg. You can see how you feel comfortable in this position. And help yourself so much that you can be stable here. We also already come up again. And then we step forward to the beginning of our mat. And we come into a little, um, a very nice heart opening, but also into a balanced position because we want to have focus and we want to find the roots. That's always good if we want to open our hearts, we need a foundation of stability. So we come on our left foot, bring our right foot to the back and hold our right foot in our, in, in our hands. And then the knees are in one line. Maybe you stay here. Maybe that's totally fine for today. It has the same effect than the dancer pose. Or you just bring the left hand to the front, pull with your right foot into your right hand. So you come into a bow kind of, a dancer position, into a back bend. You can hold yourself if you have a wall next to you, something you can hold, hold yourself with your left hand. Inhale. <laughs> if you fall out, it's funny, you can laugh, be easy with yourself and then you can come in again. You can be very curious and playful here. And then release. You can jump a little bit. <laughs> Use your legs, your hands. Breathe into your nose. <laughs> like a horse out of your mouth. So release everything. If you're a little bit tense in your body, in your mind, you can let go of that. <laughs> And you lift your hands again with your inhale. Exhale, forward fold. With your next inhale, half forward fold. Exhale, bring your left knee, left foot back. Inhale, warrior one. The right foot is in the front. And the warrior positions, it's, it's very beautiful because they standing for strength, for focus, but a warrior is strong, has very good boundaries, but is also soft and humble. And this is the energy we want to tune into now. We bring the right hand to our right hip and we lean to the right side here. Feel the left side of your heart, the back side of your heart. Your feet want to pull together so you find a lot of stability. Inhale, bring your hands up. If that's too much, you can at every point, you can straighten your legs, bring them more together, whatever you need. Just your hips want to pull towards the front. They are stable and parallel. And with your exhale, you're open to the right side. Inhale, look to the front. Your heart is shining to the front. Exhale, right side. Two times more, inhale, exhale, open. Maybe you look to the back here, find new perspectives in your life. And inhale, straighten your leg. Maybe you make the step a little bit smaller so you really have stability here. Lift your arms, lift your spine. And with your next exhale, you fold forward over your right leg. As I said earlier, I don't, didn't bring blocks because for me it's okay like this, but maybe you have a blanket, blocks, books, pillows, whatever you need to place your hands on so you can find stability and you can stay a little bit higher. For me, it's always good to bring my hands on my thigh. Please don't bring your hands on the knee, my thigh, on my lower leg. And with, it, with your inhale, your spine, Spine lengthen, 
The front of your heart is soft and the back side of your heart is holding you, is hugging you, is carrying you through life. And exhale, maybe you melt a little bit lower. Your right hip pulls back, so your hips are, are straight. And our hips, our legs, our feet, they give us a lot of stability here, so our heart can soften can be brave. One more breath here. Release everything you don't need anymore. Your heart is above your head, so your mind can become more and more quiet and your heart can guide you through your life. Inhale, come back to your warrior one and then you step towards the beginning of your mat. If you want to come into the little balance position, you can come on your right foot now and you can hold your left foot in your hands. Maybe that's okay. It's totally fine. You can hold yourself on the wall. That's always great. And you can see it very playful, very fun, curious. And if you want to, you can come into a dancer position. And be gentle with you. And a dancer is dancing, is cre creative, is soft. A dancer has fun, is living his or her passion. So maybe you can feel that in this position, opening, having fun, tuning into your passion. And then you relieve, you let everything go. Maybe you jump, you dance doesn't matter how it looks like <laughs> and you can release you can bring your hands to your fists and maybe you can massage your thighs a little bit maybe the lower legs too you can breathe out through your mouth I don't want to do it very loud because I have my microphone on my mouth but you can really oh, let everything go and there was so much of the dynamic park today. We're going to be more calm. We're going to go towards the mat again. We were in a very strong, powerful part in the yoga praxis to strengthen our heart. And now we're coming down a little bit. We're going to be more easy and softer now. And we want to do a few more heart openers so we can open our heart, we can invite prana, life energy, and increasing um, yeah, the energy in our heart center. We can tuck our toes in. Maybe we can sit for a little bit. I know it's very, very uncomfortable at the beginning, sitting on our toes. Make sure that your lower back is straight, so we're not gonna go into this position. We go into long back. You don't have to do it. It's just a very nice stretch for our toes, for our feet. And then we're flowing through the dynamic camel. So you bring your right hand to your right heel. With your inhale, circle your left arm around and open your chest, open your hip. And exhale, release. If that's too much for your toes, you can sit here and you can open like this. Find the position, find the way you like. So when you, with your inhale, open your chest, open your hip, open your whole system. Exhale, release, sit down. Inhale, right arm, change the position and just lean, lean a little bit back, lean into the back side of your heart. You can imagine that there's arms growing out of the back side of your heart. Hold and holding and hugging you. And you know that it doesn't matter what happens in life, you hold, you're safe. And the nicest part is you hold by yourself. You also hold by life, by Mother Earth, but you hold by yourself because you can take responsibility for yourself. You can set important boundaries and you can always decide to open your heart again for yourself, 
for life, for your emotions. Once more on every side. Let yourself guide from your heart and from the rhythm of your breath. And then release, release your toes to just sit on your heels. If that's too much for your knees, you can always bring a blanket or something like this in between your heels and your butt. Open your palms and just feel. Close your eyes. It's so precious and important to not rush through the yoga practice, to not rush through life. To take time to feel, to tune into yourself. And especially after doing a lot of movements in the class, a lot of intense asanas. To take some time to feel into yourself. Dear heart, how do you feel? Dear heart, what do you need? Maybe you get an answer immediately. Maybe it's just a very, very gentle feeling, pictures, impressions, emotions. Your heart can communicate with you in every way. And even after the yoga class today, you can just listen to your heart and maybe, maybe you can hear something, you can see something around you. And then you slowly open your eyes again and you can come to a sitting position. And you straighten your left leg. The right leg is again in half butterfly. And it's a little bit, um, you can have also like a blanket or something underneath your butt. So your hip is a little bit lifted and your lower back is straight. And mostly we find more stability and our whole upper body can be straight and open. And if we don't have something, we sometimes sit like this. <laughs> but we want to open our heart, we want to open our shoulders here. And then you can take your, your left leg into your left arm. Maybe it's bent, maybe it's like this, that's totally fine. If you have something, I could have tell you, you'd need the towel or belt or something like this. It's always good to lengthen our arms, but maybe that works like this for you. You can also do this. Yeah, perfect, looks great, <laughs> perfect. And with your inhale, lift your chest. And then you can bring your right hand to the outside of your left foot and the left hand in the inside of your foot. So it's like a cross here. And like I said, your knee can be bent. That's totally fine. Inhale here and exhale, bend your elbows. So you melt towards your leg. Very nice stretch in the backside of your leg. And then you keep your right hand on your foot, release your left hand, you pull your left hand to the back. So we are in a nice twist again. Very beautiful. You're, you look towards the left leg. Yeah, you have your left foot in your right hand. <laughs> Sometimes it's a little bit confusing, I know. So right hand in the left foot. Yes, and you open your left hand to the back. Yeah, that looks awesome. Perfect. <laughs> like I said, your knee can be bent. Don't force yourself. Open your chest here. Take a deep breath in. Imagine like an invisible string pulling your crown up, is pulling your spine up so you become longer and longer. And with your next exhale, release. Good job. <laughs> Luckily, we have a second side. So we straighten our right leg, bring the left leg to our thigh. Then toes are always tucked in. So this is pointed, that is flexed or tucked in. I don't know, flexed, I call it in German. And then we bring our left hand to our right foot, maybe already to the outside. And our right hand, on the inside. If your, if your 
Um, left knee is up, that's okay. It doesn't touch the ground for me neither, so it doesn't matter. Straighten your spine, let your heart shine. And with your exhale, bind your elbows and your nose wants to go to your leg. Your leg can be bound, that's totally fine. And then you release the right hand. So you hold your right foot in the left hand and the right hand is pulling back. Yes, very good. And it's very nice doing asanas like this for our coordination to get more perspectives in life and to make our body a little bit more flexible, but also our minds. Inhale here and exhale, release. You can do two big circles with your hands. And then I'm moving towards you so you can see what I'm doing. You can come like you can bring your legs apart. It doesn't have to be too much. It can be like this, a little bit more, whatever feels good for you. Your toes tuck in so they, they look towards the, towards the body. And your both sitting bones are equal on the ground. So you sit very equal on both sides. Your hip is straight and lifted. So your whole body, your whole chest, your whole spine is lifted and open. If you want, you can bring your hands on the back of your butt and pull a little bit, give a little bit pressure towards your body so you can feel that you're really straight. It's a very nice position to open the heart, to bring the shoulder blades together. Because in daily life, we very often, the shoulders are falling together, closing our heart, and even breathing is gonna be hard. But like this, we can use our whole breathing volume we have. We can open our breath, we can open our heart. You can stay here, maybe that's enough for you. If you want to, you can bring the hands to the front, walk with your fingertips a little bit further, Stop wherever you have the feeling, okay, if I go, move forward, my, my back has to bend and I kind of fall together, collapse together. So stay wherever you feel like my back is straight. And you can have the impression that you fold over your hips. So your hips are straight and you just fall over your hips. Your toes are active. If you feel too much pressure in your knees, bend them slightly. And if you want from here, you can lean down. Make sure that even in these forward folds, in these deep, deep bendings, you still want to bring the backside of your shoulders, your shoulder blades together so your heart is wide open. And then you place your left hand or your left arm next to the left leg and you raise your right arm and pull your arm over your head. So kind of the left side of your body falls over, the left, over your left leg. And it doesn't have to be so low, you can stay here. That's totally fine. The most important is that you twist your chest so your chest can open towards the sky. If that's not intense enough, you can go lower. You can even grab your toes, <laughs> but I don't do that because then I'm, my chest is pulling towards the ground. So you want to have an open chest here. You feel a nice stretch in the side of your body and you can lean a little bit more back into the backside of your heart. You can feel how it's holding you and with your exhale, you bring the hand down, you walk towards the center, come a little bit up so your body, your back can release. And then you walk towards the right side. Place your fingertips, your arm, whatever you want to, next to your right leg. Lift your left arm and then you pull your left arm towards your toes, your right toes. 
and you choose how low you want to go here. And in yoga, it's not important. I don't, I, I don't think I have to explain both of you because you both know, but it's always nice to remind that it's not about how stretched you are, how deep you can go into a position, how good it looks. No, the most important is that you can feel an effect and that you find your boundaries and you can set your boundaries. And maybe with the time, you can move your boundaries a bit. That maybe now your boundary is here and maybe in a few weeks it's somewhere else, but never overstepping your boundaries. With your next exhale, your left hand is coming back. Come to the center once more, lift your spine. And then you will slowly walk back with your hands. You bring your knees together. And stay here for two breaths with a straight spine. It's always good when we hit it like very deep stretches that afterwards we give our body the possibility to find back <laughs> into balance. And from here, we can hold our knees and roll vertebrae per vertebrae on our spine. From here, you can bring your knees into your chest. You can make little circles in one direction. You can give your spine a little massage. Maybe your breath can find very nice, slow rhythm, very naturally. You don't have to control your breath, but let yourself guide. And sometimes it's good to remind ourselves to find a slow breath and a deep breath. And from here, you can, we can come into happy baby. We bring our arms to the inside of our knees and take the outside of our feet with our hands, yeah, very nice. And then we open our hips, we open our knees. Um, so our, our, our feet are spread. Yes, exactly. And then we can roll from the left to the right side if you want to. And this asana is called happy baby. And I think that's a very beautiful asana to finish the class with, at least the asana class. So we can connect with a very happy baby, with a very open, open mind, with a gentle, soft baby. What has fun? What knows that life can be very easy and gentle and that it is important to be happy, to smile, to be lovely and to yourself. We can come back to the center, bring your knees together again. And now it's yogi's choice. If there's another movement you want to do before we're going to go into Shabasana, you can do whatever you need. Maybe your heart, maybe your body tells you, you need something now, you need movements. You need to bring your knees maybe to the right and the left, whatever you need, you can do that now. And if you just want to go into Shabasana immediately, you can relax. You can maybe take a blanket, take a sweater. You can make yourself very comfortable. I can recommend you to put like a a uh, blanket or pillow underneath your knees so you can lower back and really release. You can be comfortable on the ground and you can also bring a blanket or a pillow on your hip. Maybe today on your heart and your hip, make yourself comfortable because that's very grounding. So find whatever position 
You can use everything you need to be comfortable in Shavasana. And then you can spread your legs and your hands. Your palms are open towards the ceiling. Your toes are relaxed. They can fall towards the sides. Take yourself space here. And then you can close your eyes. I'm gonna go into a sitting position just to be able to hold space here to guide you. But you can really relax now. And I will guide you out whenever we are finished. And then feel the backside of your body laying on the ground being held by Mother Earth. Feel the backside of your heart hold by yourself, hold by Mother Earth. Feel the front side of your heart hugged from the back, from yourself, hold close wide open and soft and I'm gonna be silent for two minutes and afterwards we're gonna go through a meditation but for now just relax be quiet and feel into your body into your soul after this yoga class Shavasana And from here, we're going to go into the meditation, into a visualization. If you want to, you can just stay in Shabasana. You can just stay there. You don't have to move at all. If you want to, you can wake yourself up slowly and you can sit if you feel better to sit. But you're very welcome to just let yourself guide while you're laying. I love meditating when I'm laying, whatever feels good to you. And then come with your awareness more and more into your heart again. With every breath, you let yourself fall into the heart. With every breath, you relax deeper and deeper. Your body, your mind, relax deeper and deeper. While your focus, your awareness is wide awake in your heart. And then you see in your heart the two poles, the two energies coming together, the two energies of yin and yang, masculine, feminine, 
the two energies of light and darkness, the two energies of the gentle, the soft and the strong heart. And you see how they coexist together like a magnet, they pull towards each other and they melt into each other. While these two energies melt into each other in the center of your heart, a beautiful bowl of light, of golden, shining, warm light is creating in your heart. It's like a bubble, like a bowl with every breath, with every heartbeat, this bowl is growing bigger and bigger, is raising. With every heartbeat you feel that your whole heart is shining in this golden, bright, warm light, in this soft and in this strong heart in loving and healing energy. With every heartbeat, your heart is sending and raising this ball and the light of this ball into your body. And the slide from the center of your heart is flowing into your shoulders, into your arms, into your wrists and hands, into your fingers into your chest, in your belly, into your pelvis. This golden healing loving light from your heart is flowing into your legs, into your knees, to your lower legs, into your feet, to your toes. And this golden light is shining into every cell in your spine, in your shoulders, in your neck, back of your head, in your crown, in your forehead, in your face, in your throat and your chest. And with every single heartbeat, this light, this golden healing light from your heart is growing and growing. And you can see that every cell of your body is shining in this golden healing light. And now you can feel that it is expanding through the boundaries of your body. It's expanding your energy field. And you can see with every heartbeat that it's creating a bubble of light around you. It's like a vessel, a bowl, a bubble. And you laying in the middle of this bubble bubble is gonna get stronger and stronger. It's shining bright, golden, it's vibrating. And you realize that this bubble, this vessel around you is your protection. It's the protection of your heart. And you are within this vessel, within the secure vessel where you can open your heart, where you can feel everything and where you can hold yourself. And this golden shining vessel with every heartbeat is becoming stronger and stronger. It's almost like warm honey in this vessel so that nothing can come through You know, that is your boundary to the outside, your boundary to everything what is not good for you, a boundary to everything what you don't need in your life, what you don't want in your life. And you are within this vessel, within this golden shining bubble, secure and hold. And there in the secure space you realize that nothing can happen, that you protect it, you're secure, and that everything is good how it is, that you are good, who you are, how you are, 
your life is exactly how it should be. And you can feel that your heart is becoming stronger and stronger, that you can hold yourself, you can take responsibility for yourself and for the people you love in your life. And you can set all the boundaries you have to set. And at the same time, your heart can be very soft and wide open for yourself, for your emotions, for everything you need. And while you're laying there, you realize that you can come back to this place, into the bubble, every time, because this bubble every time exists around you. You just sometimes can't see it. But you can always come back into the center of your heart, connect with this golden healing light and create this bubble, this vessel around you, this secure, safe space around you, this wide open and the strong heart. Maybe you want to ask your heart again, how do you feel, dear heart? What do you need, dear heart? Maybe you receive an answer right away. Or maybe you decide to just stay wide open with your heart and listen to it. Today, the next days, the coming week, your whole lifetime. Because you know now that you can stay with an open heart can listen to it, you can allow everything, every emotion and at the same time you can hold yourself, you can set your boundaries, you can protect your heart, and yourself. And with this new wisdom, with this beautiful vessel, this golden shining light around you, protecting you, you breathe deeper into your belly, into your chest. You can stay there if you want to stay a little bit longer in this meditation. Or you slowly, slowly wake up with me again. Slowly move your fingertips, move your toes. Make little circles in your wrists and your feet. Very gently and soft you wake yourself up. Bring your arms over your head, lengthen your whole body like you wake up from a long, deep, the most beautiful healing sleep you ever had. And then you turn to your favorite side, smile into your heart, thank yourself. And then with closed eyes, you find into a sitting position your choice, how you want to sit. In your own rhythm, you wake yourself a little bit up. Let your, let your eyes closed because we want to close the circle of our yoga class and we want to come into your, the class very relaxed, very gentle and we want to come out of the class very gently, very soft, so the circle can close. We bring our palms together. We create again energy and heat in between our hands. And then we place our palms, maybe with the left hand first on the heart. We feel the energy, we feel this golden light ball in the center of our heart. This gentle, soft and the strong heart melting together. And then we bring our hands and Anjali Muda together. Thank our heart for guiding us through our life, for being soft and for being strong and for being the temple of our soul, as we say in yoga. And then we bow down to the earth. Thank Mother Earth for carrying us. Thank yourself for participating in this yoga class, 
for doing something good for you. And I thank you for being a part of this. Namaste.